Welcome back to Apprentice FX here with another edition of our Point versus Counterpoint series where we discuss popular topics that surface around the community. For today's video, I'm here with Becca to discuss the no backpack rule in our high school enforced this year on all high school students. For a little background on the dispute, backpacks are strictly prohibited in school during school hours in hallways, classrooms, study halls, and even in the cafeteria. The rule was revised and edited and said to be put in place about two to three years ago, and at the high school there has done nothing but stir up dissensions between students and staff trying to desperately fight its inconvenience and the unruly punishments students are facing for trying to make their own lives more organized, convenient, and timely. Teachers have proposed substitutes such as string bags along with smaller binders and books, but for students taking honors and AP courses, the workload is heavy, which means the school supplies tend to be heavier. To ask students to purchase lighter supplies will not work for students required to have these larger supplies. And the string bags that the school promotes have no significant difference from traditional backpacks other than health risks. The straps that administration enforces on the bags that are provided at school are about the width of your finger and sometimes even thinner. The problems with these straps is that they apply the weight of all the textbooks, binders, and notebooks in your bag directly onto the small area wrapped around your shoulder weighing down. This can be very harmful to the growth of teenagers and painful to endure walking around a large three-floor high school like ours for six hours a day. Traditional backpacks, on the other hand, have wide padded straps that go across the shoulder entirely and comfortably to prevent strain and damage due to the weight on the shoulders and back. They are the safer option for all students instead of the painful, rough, thin, and rope-like material that the drawstrings are equipped with. Another reason argued against backpacks is the size and possibility of contraband concealment inside the conventional opaque backpacks. Especially after events like the Columbine shooting where the students concealed their weapons in duffel bags, administrations are on alert of larger bags that could conceal weapons or even drugs. This concern is without a doubt valid and justified an action to prevent major disaster from occurring. However, there are alternate options to take. One very popular proposal was and is the transparent backpack, which is around the same size as a traditional backpack with the same amount of pockets and the strap quality of a regular backpack. Only now, the administration and security can see the contents of the bag while the students have the convenience, organization, and time management they all need to be successful while keeping the building safe from the terror such as Columbine. All in all, there are many solutions to security and safety regarding backpacks that schools should implement if they do indeed decide to disband backpacks from classrooms, hallways, etc. I understand your concern, Nick, and I agree that not having backpacks for the students in the halls could be an inconvenience. But in my opinion, the backpacks can cause many inconveniences but, um, being on the students as well. The school has only been trying to create a better environment for the students and keeping their best intentions in mind. The backpacks are a hazard for everyone, including the staff, and in most cases, being ridiculously large. The halls are confined and filled with many students throughout the day, not only walking, but talking to friends and stopping at lockers. The students can sometimes be forgetful of others around them, thus causing collisions or accidents. These events happen to everyone. Sadly, we cannot prevent them, but we can reduce the damage caused by taking the backpacks out of the equation. Most students, like you, do not see the good side of the backpack rule, and you wear your backpacks around the halls and in classes without a care. For the concern of the students, administrators have created harsh punishments to advise and sway them not into wearing their backpacks. The punishments would not be as grim if students would cooperate. Hopefully, in years to come, the rules will become less of an issue and will be revised and loosened. Also, these punishments are not only for the backpack rule, but for all rules in the handbook, such as dress code and cell phone use. Furthermore, when arriving at New Milford High School, every student is automatically provided with a locker and their schedules. Lockers are used to store books, bags, and a lunch for students throughout the day. Between each class, students have five minutes to gather their materials from their locker and proceed to their next class. I feel, as well as others, that five minutes is more than enough time to gather their stuff from their locker. In concern for organization, I have seen many students with backpacks and many students with just binders or folders. Most students with just backpacks are far less organized than the ones without backpacks. They tend to shove papers into the bags and do not own binders or other organizing materials. These students are often the ones coming up with unpresentable homework, such as ripped, wrinkled, or stained. Another point I would like to add is the use and convenience of drawstring bags. I follow your point made about these bags. 
They can be harmful to the student's health when carrying extensive material, and the lack of pockets can be a disadvantage. Nevertheless, there can be a simple solution to these two problems. The bearing of extra materials throughout the day is not necessary. Like mentioned previously, students were given lockers to hold unneeded materials during the day. Lockers are locked, making them safer than a bag, so students do not need to carry all the materials for the day. This would be a large burden. Grabbing material for two to three classes from your locker is sufficient. They can return to their lockers for new material, thus keeping bags lighter and students healthy. In conclusion, the backpack rule is set only for safety of others and will help students and faculty have a productive and organized day at New Milford High School. But don't just take our word for it. Leave a comment expressing your opinions on the matter. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you for joining us here at Apprentice FX, and we will see you next time.